All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to Tools in Action. Today we're going over something that is actually one of our highest rated videos or highest viewed videos, which is the DeWalt DWP 611 router. Now we have compact a really router. compact router, laminate router. We, you guys, we have a really good video on this. We'll put a link at the bottom. JC, he started yep. the DeWalt owners group, did a real thorough review of it. This video is gonna kind of talk to you guys about how I feel and why this is the best for a CNC, a compact, small entry level, CNC router for your CNC machine. And I think in general, just in woodworking in general, it's a good router too. It doesn't have to just be for CNC. Right, exactly, Eric, exactly, Eric. And the reason I say it is because I have a Porter cable that's almost identical. I mean, it's obviously different, but it's fairly similar and I love it, so. Yeah, this comes in two styles, you guys. It also has a plunge base that you can get for a little more money. Uh, this one you can get roughly on Amazon for around $120. Um, but it is pretty much identical to that Porter cable with this having LED lights, soft start. I don't know if the Porter cable has a soft start or not. I don't remember. I think it does, but I could be wrong. Okay. So, um, one nice thing I like to, whoops, sorry, on this router is that it has a spindle lock. So you can have your hand on, on there and just you need one wrench. Like the other ones I've had, it's always two wrenches and you're always messing around and it slips off. So I like the fact of the spindle lock. That's a right. nice added. So let's go over some features, why it's good for CNC machines, specifically the X-Carve, you guys. Uh, we recently got an X-Carve. It came with the uh, spindle. We were having a few issues with that spindle. Uh, it just seemed to be a little underpowered for the stuff we were doing through Oak, and it seemed to uh, create some chaos with our machine uh, with interference as the power was going through the lines. So our cuts weren't precise. So instead of getting a new spindle, which x -Cars was going to send us out, I said, you know what, how about we get a mount for one of these and we're going to try one of these. So x -Carve sent us out the mount and then we put this uh, into it. And you guys, if you've been watching this on Periscope, you know it's night and day now. It really is. The other one was a little bit slower. I mean, this thing just hauls through the wood. Yeah, we're going at, you know, 60, uh, you know, I, inches per minute versus the old one was having a hard time at 22 inches okay. per minute. Uh, 5 8 inch bits is what we're putting in here on the shank. It's quarter inch, right? Quarter what? inch collet? Yeah, it's a quarter, quarter inch. inch. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, I believe it's quarter inch. Pause it. Make sure you. Yep, uh, collet diameter is quarter inch. Okay. So. But I've been using 5 8 inch bits. They seem to work perfect. Okay. So, you know, one thing, if you do want to do your uh, 1 8 inch bits, you can buy adapters online to make it fit. I think mm -hmm. I just ordered one. Okay. Um, so that's for your router. And you can adjust it by a speed dial right, right. at the top. And when it's on the X-Carve, what I generally do is once it starts working, you can actually play with it a little bit to get your best cut rate. You're going to feel it. Now, does that mess it up? Like when you're doing using the CNC machine, and if you're like in the program, because you don't you tell it the speed that you're gonna you do. You just tell it the speed you want it to travel. Okay. okay. Oh, I got you. So you're, it's all that is is traveling speed. Then you're actually adjusting. Like if it's not cutting quick enough, you can dial it up. Or if you think it's cutting too much, you can dial it down. Right. Right. And you. if you okay. have a single flute bit, you guys, you know, if you're running at sixteen thousand RPMs, you you know that's half the speed. So you're making half the cuts that it would gotcha. be. Gotcha. Okay. But you know, sometimes you don't need that higher speed. Mm -hmm. You know and Higher speed, let's face it, is loud and it's hard on your router. Uh, we have used a FLIR on this, you guys, and we have been watching the heat, and this router does not produce any heat whatsoever. Uh, it does produce, however, a huge blowing effect through the bottom. So it has two LED lights which light up which the Which the blowing effect's nice because, you know, if you're using the router, it just blows it way otherwise. It's nice, it, but it's, it's bad, right too. It's, well, I mean, for your basement, I think it's bad. Yeah, you know? yeah the X-Carve is coming up to the garage when we clean it out. But uh, versus the old spindle, you guys, the lock line method that I used was awesome because the other spindle wasn't blowing away. But this is so powerful, the air, the vacuum has a hard time sucking it up. You're still getting dust extraction. You're just not, you know, you're getting a lot of random dust around gotcha, the whole perimeter. Okay. Uh, that could easily be rectified though with a dust boot and a brush. Okay. And with, it's got LEDs too, right? Yeah. Two LED lights. The third time, yeah. Oh, did you already talk about it? I just think that's cool because I know the important cable doesn't, so. Right. And uh, on X-Carve, you guys, it comes down right to the point where Eric was talking about the spindle lock. Mm -hmm. So you're easily to change uh, everything on right. there. Cable's long enough to run zip tie it to the drag link and run it over to an external power source. Um, but you guys, we've probably had, I've probably put maybe 30, 40 hours on this router running. Not this particular one, I have two. One's down on the machine and this is gonna be my handheld one for finishing. Um, but I gotta say, it's 
Dwight hit home on this. What's so funny about that? I'm just laughing the one time you used that big router. Yeah, the big router. <laughs> and it and it went, <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like big routers, you guys. It's a quarter horsepower right here. Or, I'm sorry, one, one and, and a quarter. quarter. One and a quarter horsepower. Um, it's just a great little compact router. I cannot say enough about the DWP 611, you guys. I want you guys to comment below on whoever has this. Let us know what you think. Um, there are other options for CMC machines, like the Bosch Colt, the Porter Cable, like Eric said. Um, and I think those might be a little less expensive than the that DWP. Colt, though, I haven't got the Colt, too. The Colt is it's a workhorse, man. I love that thing, yeah. too. You know? The Bosch Colt is a great router. The yeah. only reason I went with DeWalt and think this is a little more better for my application is the LED lights. Yeah, oh, okay. That makes a huge difference, you guys, when you can actually look down and see your work. Well, I think it's nice. So did you get any type of uh, shadow with the two LEDs or no? Does it pretty yeah, much take bit. care of? No, okay. you, you, you do a little bit, okay. of course. Right where the bit, the bit's going to create a little bit of shadow. But uh, other than that, you guys, great little router. I'm going to show you some actions. I've probably been showing you of it on the machine. Uh, and like I said, let us know what you think. Tools in action, click the link below to go... I don't even know, to toolsinaction.com. To yeah, so there you go. Yeah, talk about it in the forum, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Tools in action. We will talk to you soon. Yeah, we will. But, man, this thing, I'm serious, Eric. It runs so cool. It's yeah, like, because Stuart was like, you know, oh, I wonder, it's, you know, it's these routers are not meant to run forever. You know, like heavy, like the bigger heavy ones. duty, no, like uh, heavy duty service life. 100% duty cycle. Ow! You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're not meant for a 100% duty cycle, but it runs so... Did you take this part off on yours or yeah. no? Okay. But it runs so smooth and so cool that there's not going to be any issues. No. What's that thing run new? 120. Okay. More exciting tool action. Go to toolsinaction.com.